How are we doing team? Trifunctional here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Any Tomb series. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having an awesome day. Today we're going to move forward with our villager project. Alright team, so as far as what I've been up to since we last spoke, I went ahead and I tamed up a couple of more horses because there were three out in the field that we saw previously in the series. Went ahead and taped up all three of them, had them all blinged out with the gold armor, and went ahead and I bred a couple of them so we have a fourth horse that's growing up here as well. So we're going to make sure that we have plenty of horses stocked up just in case we ever lose one uh, in the future. We want to make sure we always have that transportation. Now, I did go back into the nether and I brought back a nether root, or a nether wart, and so we do have a ton of nether wart all growing down here. I think that kind of adds a nice aesthetic to the basement here as well. So we'll have plenty of that for when we get into potion brewing in the future also. And now as far as the villager breeder is concerned, this has done us quite well. We have tons of villagers to work with. Now I went ahead and I turned it off by blocking the uh, skylight here so sun's not hitting those doors. So they're no longer breeding, so that's because we don't need any more villagers until the the next step. Now this is a, a temporary build here. Uh, we're going to end up removing this field in a, a little bit. Uh, probably not in this episode, but in a future episode. Uh, or maybe I'll do it off camera, we'll take that down. As far as today, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the... Uh, biggest project we've worked on so far in this series. It's going to be quite fun. It's going to extend across uh, multiple episodes. But we're going to start with the uh, the three-tier villager tower that we're going to be building. On the top tier, there's going to be an iron golem farm so we can get plenty of iron without having to search through caves for it. On the middle tier, we're going to build a similar villager breeding farm like we have there. Uh, to provide plenty of villagers for our bottom tier, which is going to be our uh, trading hall, so that we can get tons of good villagers that have good trades and get awesome items that way as well. Now, as far as the bottom uh, tier is concerned, that's going to require a lot of iron, so it just makes sense to get started with the top tier first. Uh, so that we can get that iron golem farm going and get started on uh, collecting tons of iron. So I'm going to go ahead and, and as you can see, I collected uh, some supplies ahead of time. We're going to use mostly stone bricks and glass. Made up a ton of stone bricks and glass for this. I also, while I was in the, the nether, went and gathered some glowstone as well. And let me tell you, that was precarious. I thought I was going to fall to my death multiple times getting that glowstone. But that's going to add, a, add a, a nice aesthetic to the uh, the build here. So I'm going to get started by building a, a center column here. This is going to run through the middle of our uh, tower. And this is what's going to hold up our top tier that we're going to get started on today. Now, while I go ahead and get this uh, build going, I think we'll go ahead and do a build time lapse. And so, let's do this.
All right, team, and we're back. So we're just about finished with the Iron Golem spawner, and I came into my basement because I was going to go down to the mine to grab some lava to finish up here, and look what spawned inside my basement. <laughs> there is a creeper in there. It scared the crap out of me. I thought for sure it was going to blow up my house. <laughs> Let's see if we can take him out. All right. <laughs> Took care of that problem. <laughs> Anyways, that was almost bad news bears. I have no idea where he would have spawned down in here. I feel like I should just spam tons of torches all over my walls because I do not want any creepers to be down here at all. Anyways, I just thought that was funny. So uh, I'll go ahead and get this finished up. I'll be right back, peeps. Alright team, and we're back. So, the last thing that we need to do here to activate our Iron Golem uh, Tower is to uh, get 10 of these villagers into a little villager holding center that I created on the side of the building. So to do this, I set up a minecart track, and I haven't even tested this out yet, so let's hope that this works. Now, uh, if I push a minecart into the corner here... Oops. Well, I was hoping that would cause them to jump in there. And actually, to help them in there, one thing that we could do is we can create a water current. So let's go ahead and break the glass here and put down a water current. See if we can get one of them to be pushed into that corner to get into our minecart. And that might be the wrong level to put it on because I don't want to drown them. So let me go ahead and see if I can get it down on the... There we go. That's... Is that the level I want? Maybe? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this figured out. I'll be right back. And we're back, team. And it's working. I got one up there. So let's see if we can get him pushed in there. Alright, let's go ahead and hop out of our cart here. And let's take his cart. And he's in! Alright, so we just have to repeat that nine more times. <laughs> and so the reason why we want ten of them is because uh, that's the amount that's required to spawn iron golems. Now we don't want more than ten because we want there to be a lack of villagers in that uh, mock village that we created up there using all those doors so that when we create the breeding farm one level lower uh, the uh, villagers on the breeding farm will see it as needing more villagers in that uh, village and they'll be breeding so that should work out as well so let's go ahead and grab another one here all right so just worked a second ago. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get that water flow going again. These uh, villagers are awfully active. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's take that. Go ahead and push our card into there. Anybody? Anybody want in? Come on. The peeps are watching. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Of course it works when I don't have record on, and it doesn't work when I have record on. Come on, somebody hop in here. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and get the other nine villagers in there, and then I'll go ahead and bring you back. Oh god, oh no. This is a precarious situation. Don't ask me how I got into this situation. <laughs> and more mistakes were made. <laughs> Check it out, team. That villager is not supposed to be there. <laughs> that is where the Iron Golem's fall to die. 
and so now I'm gonna have to get that villager out of there as well. <laughs> Check it out, team. Villager Knievel. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get that guy back to the other side, which is where we're trying to corral the other villagers. Now, as far as my cart, I sent one back for a villager. Did it not make it all? Oh, uh, looks like it didn't actually catch a villager. So, let me go ahead and go get the the last two. We have eight in there so far. So, this has been a hassle, but we're getting there. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> I actually got ten of them in there. <laughs> that was the biggest pain in the behind. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and close this up. Now that we have 10 in there, we should start spawning uh, iron golems at any point in time. So let me just clean up some of this dirt that I was using when I was uh, trying to corral Villager Knievel. I did end up getting Villager Knievel in there, by the way. <laughs> end up having to push him off of the edge. He fell to the bottom. Surprisingly, he lived. Then I was able to push him back over to the, the tracks here. Oh, looks like we're in a battle. Ooh. <laughs> I'm surprised these guys are spawning here. I have light, like, everywhere. Let's go ahead and clean up the area. <laughs> All right. Now that guy looks like he might have some special gear. <laughs> the zombies are attracted to my villagers, I think. <laughs> So, we've got that cleaned up. I'm going to go back and sleep so I can stop uh, battling. And I'll actually wait. It, it might take a little bit before an iron golem appears. So I'll just wait until we get an iron golem appearing so that we can show that this is actually working. Be right back. While we're waiting for an iron golem to spawn, I'm just going to show... a. Uh, this is the villager that was inside there underneath the lava. I went up there and broke out some glass and took him out of there. And since we no longer have him contained and we have an excess of villagers, I think I'm actually going to send this one back to uh, the village that we originally were getting the, the villagers from. I think that'll be easier than trying to create a track to get this guy back into uh, one of our uh, areas that we have him all contained in. So I'm just going to push him over here onto the track, <laughs> which is always a process. Throw down a minecart, and is he going to make it? Oh, nope, he stopped right there. Oh, nope. Help him along. <laughs> Alright, off he goes, back to the village. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him out of the cart. There you are, back at your home. <laughs> Goodbye, au revoir. <laughs> All right, team. So that's going to be all for today. It doesn't look like I'm going to capture uh, footage of the Iron Golem uh, falling into there today. Uh, it does look like there are more uh, Iron Ingots in there than when I first started. So I think that one did end up spawning and falling in there. And I just ended up missing it. But I'll keep an eye on it and see how much iron is collecting in there. And give you an update in the next episode but this uh, took way longer to build than I thought it would and way longer to record than I thought it would as well so I really got to get editing but I hope you enjoyed the episode I had a blast making it and uh, make sure to leave a like button or make sure to uh, hit the like button if you like the video uh, subscribe for daily videos if you're new and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of, the, uh, of the, the video today. But I will catch you in the next one. And hope you have a great rest of your night.